I'm Ted Cooper, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Psychology here at UTEP. My research focuses on addictive behaviors. Um, kind of one branch is on addictive behaviors, the other is on weight, concern, and control, primarily in Hispanic, Latino college students and adults. I also worked with the Paso del Norte Health Foundation and led the A Smoke Free Paso del Norte initiative. And we kind of, instead of just focusing squarely on helping people quit smoking, approach tobacco control from a coordinated and comprehensive approach. So it wasn't just helping people quit, it was trying to help youth not start at all, or um, looking at media or policy around tobacco use to help either retard it or stop it. So other than tobacco control, we've done some work on binge drinking and some, uh, we did some early work. It's, we now need to kind of relook at prescription drug misuse now that opiates are uh, a crisis. Um, uh, we really were interested in how prescription drug misuse occurred on the border because so many folks can go to Juarez and legally get some of these items that we can't in the United States and then bring them across the border. Vaping is kind of going to be one of our big next topics because, well, people try and claim it's safe first, and there's no research to suggest that. In fact, um, 49 quote-unquote adverse events, which means they've blown up in people's faces. So they're, they're physically, I mean, they're getting safer, of course, but um, uh, also, we don't know the effects that they have on the lungs of the body. There's just not enough research out there. And people also try and claim it's a great way to quit smoking cigarettes. And there's no data that show us that. The other interesting thing in the lab that we're doing is looking at excessive internet and social media use. The standard deviation, so just like if we looked just further than the average was huge. So. I mean, it wasn't uncommon for people to be on social media 30 hours a week. Whichever these addictive behaviors we look at, we also look at kind of the cultural components that might be at work. So um, is there an impact of like a protective factor of familism on use or is there a risk factor of feeling microaggressed or prejudiced against? Some of those things I talked about with Smoke Free in mental health, which is to reduce stigma, empower the community to address and discuss issues surrounding, surrounding mental health. So those are the, but addictive behaviors is the big one in my lab.